I am in constant pressure every single day. If something blows up in the company, it is my problem. But before anything else, I would like to thank everyone from the bottom of my heart. We are now at a thousand subscribers. Thank you so much for your time. This is our community that we are growing all over the world, wherever you are in this world. At Coffee with Z, you are always welcome and we can talk about anything under the sun. So this video is for our friend Veronica. Here's her message. Coffee with C, I am in so much pressure right now. I do not know what to do. I need your help. Please help me. I created this video for Veronica because I think our friend Veronica needs the help now. Number one that I want you to do, and look at me in the eye. Calm down. You need to stay calm. All right, I know, I know, I know. You're mad at me right now. I can hear you. Wait, the, it, what, uh, what do you mean coffee with C? What what do you mean remain calm? I, I am under pressure. Like I can't take it right now. Let's proceed. Number one, stay calm. Take a deep breath. I am waiting for you. I can see you. Okay, no. And let me share something with you. Some people think that I do not care because I'm always calm even when everybody else's is going ballistic because you do not have to contribute to the tense atmosphere everybody else's is already tense and you adding to it is not gonna do you any good i do not let their poor attitude to affect my own i am in control and even if they tell me that okay it seems like she doesn't care i'm okay with it because this is how I handle pressure and I am sharing it with you. But the thing is, they all still turn to me to solve the problem. I ended up always be the one to solve that problem. Worrying about it doesn't count as working on it. You need to remain calm in order for you to get to step two. And you want to know my secret? Okay, here it is. I am calm because I'm already thinking of five to ten different ways to solve the problem while everybody else is spending their five to ten minutes whining and being problematic about it. Yes, that's the secret. So now we can proceed to the second one. Is stay focused on the situation, not the thing that causes the pressure. You see what I mean? You're not going to be able to go to number two without you being calm because you're not going to be able to think right. When you focus on this situation, you will be able to think clearly on what needs to be done. Okay, so now you identify the situation of what causes distress or what causes you to be pressured. Now, number three, react to that situation. Do not react on the pressure. If you react to that pressure, you can potentially make a bad decision and ruin everything. And it could get matters worse. And again, stay calm, think clearly, and react to that situation. Number four, prioritize and then strategize. What does this mean? This is not a blubber word. This is real. So bear with me. There could be a thousand of ways to tackle this problem or the pressure. You cannot do everything at the same time and that would add to your pressure. So what you do, you identify the things, the solution that you need to do and prioritize what is the utmost step that needs to be done in order for you to solve that problem and keep moving forward. Then you strategize. What needs to be done? What is one, two, three, four steps? Let me give you an example. If you are being pressured because you have a presentation tomorrow, one, prepare for it. Second, practice. Third, get a good night's sleep before tomorrow. Those could be the first three that you need to prioritize in order to prepare for tomorrow's presentation that is putting you under pressure. Prioritize and then strategize what needs to be done. You cannot just do everything at the same time. You will be overwhelmed. So, 
pick the at most three things that you can do now number five do not delay act now worrying and constantly whining about it doesn't count as working on it rather than putting it on hold address them now that's why you are pressured because you care about that thing so much the more you delay it the more it will add pressure on you number six take a break yes you heard me right you need to take a break to relieve yourself from that crunch time session go for a walk if you cannot walk close your eyes and take a deep breath you need to clear your head for a few moments listen to your favorite music go exercise and have a powerful effect to your mood or the way you think clear out your head do something that makes you relax number six is very important when you are feeling too much pressure you need to step back that little step can give you clarity to figure out the best approach to tackle the situation if you rush into it to get it done quickly you may end up making a mistake or missing a much more simpler solution to solve that problem by taking a step back you get to formulate a much more efficient and effective strong plan to get through this high pressure situation and when you step back you may end up realizing that the situation may not be as challenging as you think it's just because you are under pressure and you think that everything is the end of the world when in fact all you need to do is take a step back and think clearly this process that we've just talked about five minutes ago is applicable to every pressure that you are dealing with it doesn't matter where it is if it's at work a school relationship all you need to do is do the six steps and repeat i mean the thing is pressure starts because you care you feel pressured because you are afraid to lose something or you are afraid to mess it up which is good pressure is part of our lives we just need how to deal with it because if this thing right now is pressuring you once you're done with this there'll be two three and ten other more that will also pressure you so learning how to deal with it will get you to where you want to be again as i always say people who make it are not the smartest these are people who just keep going and this is what the coffee with c community is all about community that is full of support emotional intelligence and positivity we are all going to make it through life with each other's support it is not possible without you we are here to help each other and if you are part of the coffee with c community it just means you are here to create impact let us know your problems let us know your request and we will get to talk about it over a cup of coffee thank you so much for your feedback for your messages keep them coming comment down below i create videos every week and your topic may be next until next time thank you so much i mean i just built this community and i, I can't believe it you guys i if I can just hug every one of you, like, you know, hug.